Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Best Goat Videos. Today I'm going to be showing Mike what we got going on over here for our chicken and goat infrastructure. This is our backyard. There's a garden over here, which is a little overgrown. Back deck and the uh, dog kennel fenced in area, which has never been used for a dog. Other than when we got Lulu for a couple days. So, here's the chicken fence area. There's Angie's RV. Going to go show you the goat house, the chicken coop, and the fencing setup. Here's the chicken net. It's opened up for the day. Here's the solar charger up on a t-post got high and low settings it's a ground rod with the clip and that's the clip that goes right there once it's connected with this one here's our chicken coop that I built from scratch. It's got the wheels back here. It's a little heavy, but two people can handle it to move it around. And we move it all around the yard. And this is falling down from the rain we had, but I fixed that up. Um, this is the goat house right here that I built uh, a couple years ago. Um, I'm going to put a couple more tarps around it to keep it light so it can have some walls. Right now it's pretty much just a shade for the chicken water and just storing some random stuff in here. I got this old jacked up netting that's like only three feet tall. It's got holes all in it. I got that a while ago. Um, it was almost free so uh, maybe we can use a little bit of that someday. But, so this is the chicken area. You can kind of see, this is the two pieces that I have. There's Lulu. Um, does a pretty good area. It's like... One, two, three, four, five sections wide, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like ten. It's like five by ten sections. So it's about, with these two pieces, it's about maybe like 25 feet by 50 feet, approximately. So I'm going to go set this up here in the next week, down by the power lines, where there's a whole bunch of brush. For these goats to eat while I got them. The chicken feeder. The squirrels and the crows always get in here, so we've just been feeding them manually every day. Here, I'll just show you this while we're here. It's how you get into the nest box. If you've watched any chicken videos, you would have seen this. It's the nest boxes. Chickens have been laying some eggs up in the pots up on our back deck in the flower pots for some reason the past couple days. Um, so that's what that is. Back here, I'm going to go show you the power line area with all the brush where I'm going to put them. So yeah, I'm just going to, oh yeah, the, the goat house has got wheels on one side right now. So it can be rolled around relatively easily. It's not very heavy. And this should be enough for those couple of guys to live in and get a little bit of shade and out of the rain while they're here. Uh, over at your place, maybe we can build a couple more things kind of like this. Real quick and easy. It's just a frame. I built most the outer frame is cedar that I had milled 
And those are some two by fours for the floor and plywood. So those little guys will fit in here no problem. They can either go underneath or they can go up top. So I'll go show you the power line uh, brush here in a minute. <laughs> Okay, we're back down here at our uh, power line pasture. Here's an old ass shed that came with the house. And back up there is the house. It's just a short walk down here. There's Lulu, the famous chicken guard dog. She's a good dog. And I'm going to show you where I'm going to keep these goats if we get them for the next near future so i just cut this path earlier today with the lawnmower so we could walk without getting so many ticks on us goes down there a couple hundred feet and the creek is down there down this hill um, those couple years ago we had that crazy snowstorm all these trees fell down like all over the place this whole like swath of power line area used to be completely like clear and it was like almost like a little pasture but these power lines got wrecked and the guys came back here and cut all these trees off it so this is where i'm going to put them there's grass and other types of vegetation which is pretty you know it's growing growing pretty good this will keep them going for a while at least while it's still growing um, and down here as we get closer to the creek there's more than grass there's a mullen nice little mullen right there i don't i haven't looked up if goats can eat mullen yet but i'll check that out they probably can't um, this is kind of like a grass, grass type deal here. And I'm just going to make like a skinny long, skinny long, uh, fenced in area. Kind of like how you were talking about for your fence line. And we get a little lower down. This is where there's more, less grass type plants. Whatever these are, they're growing everywhere. I'm sure the goats can eat those. And so if we get here, there's a little ditch, a little drainage ditch over there. So I'll probably put the fence on the high side at the edge of the woods. I'm going to move it a couple of times. You know, I'm going to move it every week or two as they eat it down over there. So I do like a square there, rectangle there rectangle here rectangle down here and then um, <clears throat> we go down here there's a real nice triangle of brush whatever these plants are growing here i don't know whatever this tree is come on on down so if we look over this direction from that power line that power pole that way that's our neighbors and um, there was a cedar tree down in this that storm he let me cut that cedar tree that's non-existent over there to get a few more uh, posts there's an enormous oak tree right there that fell down so even if I happen to in the short amount of time I'm gonna have them here if they run out of forage in this area, I'll ask a neighbor if I can put them over on his property. Like over there. Over there. You can't see it, but they got a horse barn over there. A uh, couple power poles down. Um, so then. Oh, and when I say our property, I mean the property that we rent. But we got full reign. To do pretty much whatever we want out here which is cool so and this goes down the main power lines 
If I need to, I can put the goats over here. Plenty of stuff for them to eat at the edge of the woods. And I'll either cut another little path over there with the lawnmower or with the weed whacker for the, uh, for the netting and then just come around like this. Yeah, and I'm probably gonna get one more piece of that netting so I can make a larger area. And it goes down there about at least a couple hundred yards. And then it turns into ferns. And the creek is right down there in the woods. Nice little creek. So that's where the goats are going to be if we get them. Down here in this area, eating the brush. And removing any worms from their digestive system, if they have any. Alright, signing out. Peace.